Advent is a time of anticipation and preparation uh, for something that's going to happen in the future and really something that we look forward to uh, with great excitement and joy. What's so beautiful about Advent is a God who might have felt distant and far away came as close as you can come to be one of us, to show us the way and to be the way for us. It's that hope that we long for in the world and such amazing hope that is in Christ. It's this anticipation and looking forward to the joy and hope that's coming. When I think about Advent, I think of both a painful side and this beautiful, glorious side. There's some loneliness um, and even sometimes some disappointment in waiting. I think that we don't often want to talk about or we don't like to talk about the uncomfortable parts of waiting. But then there's also this joy and this growth that can happen in waiting. I'm constantly being shaped and informed uh, and molded into a Christ-like image, being of Christ, thinking like Christ, and it reminds me that I need to stay grounded in that. God created us and sculpted us for our lives that we have and also for this moment. In order for God to shape my life into what He wants it to be, I have to be malleable. I think in, in that happening, it's not that we become less of ourselves, it's we become our true selves. There are many times in our lives where we want to think that we're in control, where chaos may set or confrontations or challenges may set, but we have to remember that Jesus is love, He's pure, and He's simple, and so uh, God speaks to us in those forms. The feelings that are accompanied with waiting are, are part of a process that you can't really speed up. You can't just get to the nativity, you can't get to Christ's birth without sitting through the waiting. When He forms us into His image, we become truly who we were meant to be. This idea that we have to submit to the process, being shaped and molded. And we're anticipating Jesus' arrival, but He came to change us, not the other way around. And for me, that's a healthy way to think of getting our hearts ready for Christmas. Oftentimes in the world, I think we feel like the world isn't very just and, and righteous. And so knowing that at the end of the day, God is in control is something that gives hope in the world today for what's to come in the future.